Uh, now, though, uh, you may not have heard uh, of this next animal, uh, but you, you will know its uh, relatives. This is an elephant shrew, also known as a Somali sengi. It's a small mammal related to an elephant, uh, right down to its trunk-like nose. It's been rediscovered after 50 years as a lost species. Uh, it was found alive and well in Djibouti, in the Horn of Africa. Scientists uh, tempted it out of hiding with a bit of peanut butter, oatmeal and yeast. Uh, here's Helen Briggs. Now, you might think by now that we'd know all about the animals and plants we share the planet with, but that's not the case. We still don't have a handle on exactly how many animals and plants are out there and how many might be going extinct. And, of course, there's always some that may be living there under the radar, especially the very tiny ones like this little elephant shoe that would fit on the palm of your hand. Now, it seems to be good news for this particular little creature. Uh, the scientists have gone out there on an expedition and they've found evidence that they're living in this rocky arid habitat and they do seem to be doing quite well and they're far away from human development from agriculture that might interfere with their habitat um, so they're not a priority for conservation but the scientists do plan to go back in a couple of years time um, they want to fit GPS collars, would you believe, to these tiny elephant shrews to study their ecology and their habitat. And they say they're no less precious than these other bigger charismatic creatures, the lions, the tigers, the pandas, that seem to get the bulk of the attention and the bulk of the conservation money. So this is part of a wider effort to go out there and look for these species. Don't get as much attention um, that may be out there, um, but, but we don't know. Frogs and toads and lizards and reptiles and birds and the like because uh, the more we discover about the biodiversity of the planet then better the better we're equipped to do something about saving the precious animals and the plants uh, that we need uh, for the balance of nature